morning of July 21st, 1971, saw the culmination of a dream for a group of concerned citizens. This was the day when ground was broken for the Wayne General and Technical College in Orville. As the first spade of earth was turned, it symbolized not only the end of a five-year struggle, but the beginning of a new era for education, which is the Wayne General and Technical College. for a branch was born in 1962 when Dr. Howard Lowry, the late president of the College of Worcester, urged that two-year education be broadened in Wayne, Holmes, and Medina counties. He further suggested that an academic center be begun in Orville. Many local residents agreed with Dr. Lowry that the day was coming when Worcester would no longer be able to supply the area's need for higher education. The Orville Branch Committee, chaired by Victor Dix of Worcester, was formed to establish a branch of the State University in Orville. The logical university to establish the branch was Kent State University. The University of Akron was a municipally supported institution at this time. Kent was a large university with an expanding branch program. In time, Kent State established an academic center in the Orville Senior High School. Consequently, the people of Orville were encouraged about higher education potential in Wayne County. However, the committee was soon to experience its first setback. Kent State planned to develop its Wadsworth Academic Center into a branch campus. If a branch were built in Wadsworth, it seems unlikely that another state university branch would also be built a few miles south in Orville. This was the first of many setbacks. However, it was difficulties such as these that were to strengthen the resolve of the Orville Branch Committee. A proposal was made that the University of Akron support the Orville Branch University Committee in its bid for the site. Since it had become a state university in 1967, the University of Akron had grown to be of comparable stature with its sister state university. Further, it had gained a reputation for educational excellence. The committee felt that it would be appropriate that they should establish a branch to serve Holmes, Wayne, and Medina counties. Dr. William A. Rogers, Dean of Off-Campus Academic Programs at the University of Akron, was assigned to work with the Orville Branch University Committee to gain approval by the Ohio Board of Regents for the University of Akron to build and operate a branch in Orville. The Orville Branch University Committee put its full support behind the University of Akron, and funds were collected to purchase 160 acres north of Orville for the branch. As an indication of the tremendous effort of local residents, $145,000 extra was collected, which now will provide scholarships to local students. A concerted effort is being made to build a modern institution while maintaining the pastoral charm of the site. In August 1971, the Branch University Committee, Branch Building Committee, and Academic Advisory Committee toured the site with Dr. Rogers and Dr. Dominic J. Gazetta, the University of Akron's president. 
As the committees viewed the rendering of the branch, they were told by Dr. Gazetta that the Wayne General and Technical College would be an integral part of the University of Akron and not a poor relative. The branch is unique structurally as well as educationally. Built on a central spine, the various buildings of the complex are really one building. The most efficient possible use of space is being made, but with a view to creating the ideal learning atmosphere. It is a careful blend of modern facilities and educational excellence. Modern building techniques have made it possible for the Wayne General and Technical College to open its doors in fall of 1972. Surrounding the branch is the progressive area of Wayne, Holmes, and Medina counties, which will be served by the Wayne General and Technical College. The communities of the Tri-County area will provide practical application for the theories learned in the classroom. The Wayne General and Technical College will stand as a monument to the perseverance of the Orville Branch University Committee. It will be a symbol of the community's belief in the need for a higher education for all, as well as the need for a higher education to serve the people of Wayne, Holmes, and Medina counties.